So how do we calculate the KS test statistic? Well, KS equals the maximum of two different maximums. The first is I over N minus ZI. The second is ZI minus I minus 1 over N. So if you were to take all of your values, um, all, of your, all of your samples, and you were to plug them into this first equation and take the maximum of that, then you take them all again and you plug them into the second equation and take the maximum of that, the maximum of those two maximum values would be your KS test statistic. Max is the maximum value of an array of numbers, and ZI, that ZI there, is the CDF of the ith ordered data point. N is the number of samples, like usual. So, let's break this down a little bit more. Let's replace this max and this one with some variables. We'll call the first one d plus and the second one d minus, where d plus is just the max of this and d minus is the max of that. So, now we can talk about zi. That's the norm.dist, if you're using Excel or ENG sheets, of yi with um, mean of mu and standard deviation sigma, and true, because we want to make sure this is the cumulative distribution function. Calculating the p-value is complicated, but what's nice is we've already talked about it, because the p-value is actually calculated using the Anderson-Darling p-value formula. We're just replacing AD with KS. So it's the same piecewise function here, except when we calculate this AD star, we just plug in KS for the Anderson-Darling test statistic. So that's pretty cool. We already have the math for that. 